elderly man has an unfortunate accident in his pants at store. You won't believe what happened next. When we allow ourselves to connect with other people, it can be an amazing experience. Human beings are a social species that often get caught up in modern individualism. We avoid strangers if we can and mind our own business unless absolutely necessary. After all, everyone has their own struggles in life and being able to see past our own problems can be incredibly difficult. Everyone is dealing with something. It can take great strength to be able to put aside our own troubles and reach out to someone else. It can be difficult to believe, but there are people in the world who reach out to others no matter the situation. Lisa Lemming Jackson is one of those people. It all happened on an otherwise ordinary shopping trip. On a warm early August day, Lisa Lemming Jackson, who lives in the state of Georgia, headed out for the supermarket to do some shopping. It was a routine trip, but as Lisa roamed through the aisles weaving between pastries and pastas, she made eye contact with an elderly man. The man was sitting in a motorized cart with all of his groceries, but he didn't seem to be heading for the checkout. He had a pinched and pained look in his eyes. Lisa smiled at him, but she could tell that something wasn't right. Most people would quickly look away and hurry on with the rest of their day, maybe hoping that someone else would have stopped to inquire if the man needed any assistance. Fortunately, Lisa wasn't one of those people. After passing him, Lisa realized that she was the only one who would say something. She circled back around and reached out to the man. This simple act of kindness would end up changing them both. She asked if he was okay and if he needed any help. The elderly man's eyes immediately began to fill with tears as he explained his situation. He currently had colon cancer and while he was in the store he had a bad accident. His clothes were ruined and he was afraid that if he stood up out of his cart then the whole store would know. He didn't know what to do so he was stuck there, paralyzed by the shame and the loss of his dignity. Lisa called the grocery store staff. They immediately helped the man discreetly escape into the employee's washroom armed with wipes and fresh undergarments for him. They even gave him new clothes so that he would be able to leave the store. The elderly man, despite battling through cancer, apologized and cried. He was anxious to leave because his wife was back home and alone and he wanted to get back to her. When he returned to gather his groceries, they had already been rung up and paid for. The elderly man had fought in the Vietnam and Korean War and like most veterans felt very forgotten by the country that he had loved so much he risked his life fighting for it. He was overwhelmed to discover that people still did care. After all, Lisa's act of kindness had inspired the staff at the grocery store to ring up and pay for his groceries so he could get back to his wife. Lisa sat with the elderly man after all had been said and done and they cried together. Lisa was so moved by his story and felt so connected with him that she began to share her own fears and her own life struggles. He imparted on her some sage wisdom that only comes with age and life experience and the two of them began to feel as if humanity was a little more connected. We both cried and I shared with him my own struggles and fears. He gave me words of wisdom and encouraged me that maybe after all humanity still does care about one another, Lisa wrote. Today proved it. Thank you, Elmer, thank you, Kroger, and thank you, God, for the lesson and reminder I received today. Lisa's story is an inspiring one, reminding us all that other people are going through rough times and that simply reaching out can make an enormous difference. Especially for veterans or people who are elderly, finding someone who will look at us and see a whole person can be difficult. It's easy to avert our eyes and walk away when it seems like someone needs help, hoping the next person has more time than us. When we take the time out to connect with people, it makes the world a better place. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone who may find it interesting. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.